So I'm curious, was there any person whom you would admire or a person whom would you like to, to go to the talks and learn something? Well, I wish I could go to talks uh, from Thomas Edison. Uh, I think uh, he was the closest I had to a hero. But now that I've learned more about Thomas Edison, I realize he didn't really know that much and also had one great idea is uh, that in order to make a discovery, uh, you have to have a thousand failed discoveries for every one discovery that works out. But well, what brought you to science? It's very simple. I was uh, 11 years old and the Sputnik was launched hmm. and my mother is from uh, the Soviet Union and I said, this must be very important. So I became very interested in science right at that point. Did you go uh, towards the astrophysics direction of no. aerospace? No, it was whatever we could do with uh, the things that we could scrounge together as uh, children and as teenagers. I would uh, uh, go to the garbage of the radio repair shop. It's kind of funny because now everything's so miniaturized that it's actually tough to find something that you can take apart where you can tell what's going on in there. In those days, uh, I think one of the things that influenced me, I was influenced all along and then I, I submitted a science fair project hmm. and I had a partner. It cost uh, $20 for all the scientific equipment, the materials, everything. And then we showed up at the science fair and we realized we needed a poster board. We needed display things. Okay, it's another $20. You could do science for very little money back then.